Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let us ask ourselves another question. And this question is a question that I refer to myself and you, my brothers and sisters in Islam. Why do we neglect the Quran Kareem? Why do we neglect this book of Allah? Why do we neglect this great book that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made a miracle to the day of judgment? This great book of Allah, the words of Allah, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was revealed to him alayhi salatu wa sallam. That the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam shed blood and worked so hard and sacrificed so much to spread this word and the word of Allah. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, he says, whomever wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to address them, then let them read the Qur'an al-Kareem. What a beautiful thing to know that when you read the Qur'an al-Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing you. What a beautiful moment to know that you're in a gathering in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing you. My brothers and sisters, why do we neglect the Qur'an al-Kareem? The Qur'an al-Kareem is our way of life. How could we neglect our way of life? How could we neglect our way of success? How could we neglect our way of happiness? We look at this time and era and we look at the state of the Muslims. The state, this devastating state that many Muslims go through and live in. It is because the Qur'an is neglected. But once we turn back to the Qur'an, once we live the Qur'an, once we act upon what's in the Qur'an, then we live the, a successful and a victorious and a happy life as our predecessors were. We neglect the Qur'an Kareem by not reading the Qur'an Kareem. Every single day of my life, I must have something of the Qur'an Kareem in my life. I must read something from the Qur'an Kareem every single day. Even if it's one line, even if it's half a line, even if it's one page, we should not neglect the Qur'an Kareem. We should not let a day that goes past our life that I did not read the Qur'an Kareem. Some people think that when they want to read the Qur'an Kareem, they must read a whole, a whole juzah, a whole chapter, or half a chapter. No, you could even read one page, you could even read half a page, you could even read one line. But make sure that no day that goes past your life and you did not read one line or one or something from the Quran Kareem. This is the life of the believer. The believer is so attached to the Quran Kareem because the Quran is their way of life. And it is Hablullah al Mateen as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned. It is the firm rope of Allah. And Allah Azza wa Jal commands us to grab tight onto the onto his firm rope. Grab tight onto the uh, onto the rope of Allah. Grab tight onto the rope of Allah and do not divide, do not split apart. This is the rope of Allah. This is our way of life. This is our success. This is our happiness. This ummah, the nation of the Quran, the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, must understand and acknowledge that its only way of success, its only way of victory is to turn back to the Quran al-Kareem. When we turn back to the Quran al-Kareem, when we turn back to the words of Allah, when we start acting upon what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mentioned and what Allah azza had ordained in his book, that's when you see the victory of Allah coming upon the Muslims. That's where you see the blessings of Allah coming upon the Muslims. That's where you see the opening of Allah coming upon the Muslims. We also neglect the Quran al-Kareem by not teaching the Quran al-Kareem. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَ The best of you are those who learn the Quran and teach the Quran to others. And mainly we neglect teaching the Quran al-Kareem to our children. It is the rights of our children upon us that we must read the Quran al-Kareem and teach the Quran al-Kareem to them. Our children have a right and this right is for us to teach them the Quran al-Kareem. This is neglected. Many parents do not teach the Quran al-Kareem to their children. They'll teach them everything in this world and they'll teach them every other knowledge except the Quran al-Kareem. You are oppressing your children by you not teaching them the Quran. We also neglect, we also neglect the Quran al-Kareem by not acting upon what's in the Quran al-Kareem. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was described to be a walking Quran. He was a walking Qur'an. Why? Because he had everything in the Qur'an Kareem in his life as a practical thing in his life. Every order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was there in his life sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is the way of the believer. This is the life of the believer. The believer acts upon the Qur'an Kareem. The believer follows what's in the Qur'an Kareem because the Qur'an Kareem to him is a way of life. The Qur'an Kareem to her is a way of life. The Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum say that they used to memorize 10 verses and they would not move on to the next 10 10 verses until they act upon those 10 verses. So they said about themselves, so we've learned the Quran and we've increased our iman through the Quran. Yes, 
The Quran is for you to increase your iman. The Quran is for you to increase your iman, get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This Quran, as the Prophet Muhammad as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, it's either hujjatun lak or alayk. It's either a evidence. It's either an evidence and proof with you or against you. It's either going to come in the here after saying, Ya Allah, this person used to read me during the day and night. He acted upon me during the day and night. He followed your orders within me in, during the day and night. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept that as a great proven evidence. Or it will come against you, saying, this person never opened me, Allah. This person never read me, Allah. This person never acted upon what's been mentioned in me, Allah. It's either a proof with you or against you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran al-Kareem, about those who neglected the Quran al-Kareem, the Quran will say, Ya Allah, they had taken me as an isolated thing. The people had isolated me. They isolated me by not reading me, by not acting upon me, by not teaching others of me. The Muslim, the Muslim does not neglect the Quran because the whole life of the Muslim is around the Quran. So my brother and my sister, why do you neglect the Quran? The, the Quran is your life. The Quran is your life, the Quran is your happiness, the Quran is your path, the Quran is your success. You wonder why that sometimes life is not the best. You wonder why things are not going well in your life. Maybe there's something missing. And that thing that's missing is the Quran al-Kareem. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, whoever wants Allah to speak to them, whoever wants Allah azza wa to address them, then let them read the Quran al-Kareem. Read the Quran al-Kareem. Do not let one day go past your life without reciting something from the Quran al-Kareem. Even if it's one line from the Quran al-Kareem. Even if it's one line, even if it's two lines, make sure that every day that goes past, you have something of the Quran in your life and act upon it. Act upon it so the Quran will come as a proof for you, not against you. Allahumma ja'alna min al-ladhin yastami'una al-qawl fayattabi'una ahsana. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.